What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Rippin' Packs. It is the return of Friday with Friends. And if you saw last Friday's episode, Scott made a little guest appearance and today he's actually back for a full-fledged episode. Can't get rid of me, man. Nah, he's like a bad penny. Bad penny. So we're gonna talk about sports, we're gonna talk about cards, we're gonna talk about Target, and we're gonna rip open some basketball, right? We're gonna rip open a Prism uh, blaster box, a Donner's blaster box, and a pack of hoops just to even things out. You ready? Come back in a second. Hi there, I'm Craig Michelson, and I just got back into the hobby after more than 15 years away. Join me as I reconnect with the hobby one pack at a time. Now let's rip some packs. All right, everybody, so with me, my good buddy, Scott Pete, fellow actor. Hunt. Statistically, they're better off going for it. Your little boy is a real genius. Well, actually, he is. What the hell, punt? Get the shit out of their eyes. Like, you're not even gonna try to catch something on fire? Or... No. I'm not doing that. No way! Now, I will admit this flat out. Uh, I got back in the hobby after seeing my friend Scott, my uh, friend Nathan, a handful of other friends of mine who were posting pictures about uh, the hobby and collecting. And We had a conversation about it. You called me. I did. Yeah. And so, long story short, Scott kind of got me back into the hobby. And Scott, let's talk about you. How did you get back into the hobby? Well, it's kind of the whole thing with the pandemic back in March 2020. I was thinking about my garbage pail kits, and I, I said mm -hmm. that on your yeah. last episode, but I went to my storage unit to find those, and I had a bunch of Series 1, Series 2, and uh, I came across my sports cards, and I, I went, as a kid in the 80s and 90s, I don't know why I did this, but I sleeved them, mm -hmm. and they, I think the lowest grade looking might be an 8. Well, it's not bad no, when you look no, about no, no. when you yeah. think about that era and how we were as collectors. Yeah, exactly. And I, I actually sent in a Kevin Garnett rookie card, mm -hmm. and it came back a ten, and I sold it for like one sixty a year uh -huh. ago. I oh, wish I, I wish God. I would not have sold it because oh. if you look at it now on eBay, and it's, it's probably a grand. <sighs> yeah. yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Hindsight twenty twenty. I mean, yeah. but you look at it that way. Is as you look at it's a card you had that was oh, honestly man. maybe ten bucks when you collected. Maybe, maybe. And then now you look at especially basketball. Yeah. Basketball is a sport that has grown so much because of the pandemic. I wonder if it's because the sport was being played during the pandemic. Yeah. And it was it's really the kind first of the pioneer yeah. sport in a way. I mean, for that time in a way. And you think about basketball too, is I think that it does have that universal appeal when you really look at, I mean, take, take the game out of it, it's racially and uh, internationally accepted. Yeah. Because you look at sport, and I'm a baseball guy, I love baseball, but when you look at how many black athletes there are in the game of baseball, there's none. There's a very small handful. You look at football and basketball, it is very strong. Uh, and I think that's probably part of the reason why basketball has been such a strong sport. It's become more, it's become, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know, buddy. You went, <laughs> yeah. you went down the race road. I, I did, like, I there. did. But no, I think that's part of it. It's because a lot of fans get turned off from when they don't see themselves out in the pool. Yeah, I can understand that. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought, so. Yeah. But I mean, so you sold the KG. The yeah, PS, PSA 10. Yep. Yeah, sold that mm -hmm. thing. Don't swear. Wish I wouldn't have, but I did. <laughs> but yeah, man. And I sent in a bunch of Mannings, rookies, uh, Moss, Kaepernick, Chromes, mm -hmm. um, name it. You want me to show you what I have here? Let's see what. Yeah, give me a couple so, cards here. Right? Right, what so, do we have? So let me just. I'll just go to. There's only really two. Well, they're, they're all kind of cool, but this guy here. Oh, beast! That's yeah. A, so I sent this guy in, and that's from hoping, your actual collection, right? Yeah, I was hoping it was a nine, but it's an eight. It's just fine. I'm not selling it, obviously, because that you know it's it's for for me. Yeah. But the centering on that and for guy, your daughters down the road. Yes, the centering is beautiful, and then this one here. Nice. Where's the focus, man? Go. Wow, it shows up right. You got some technology here. Nine, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. Pretty. I need a manicure. I think it's funny about that <laughs> about that Kobe though. I mean, you weren't even grading these. You were sending these in as is. You were I, and, and what's funny is I didn't even know how to clean these guys yet. So it might be a 10. <sighs> Possibly. It might be a 10. Now I bought this one because I started thinking, he has a daughter I think, right? Andrew, look. I, yeah, he does. So what I started thinking, man, 
What if like in two years his daughter says, Daddy, go play football for me? He's still young enough. Are you kidding me? If mm -hmm. my kid ever told me to do something like that I could do? And then she could watch you play and understand and like, it? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. And then this guy I bought on the E of Bay. Mm -hmm. um, almost a black label. I, th I mean, that's a bag It's a 10, 10, 10, 10, 9, 5 corner. I mean, that yeah. is so but it's awesome. close to being a black label because yeah. it's a 10 for yes. Beckett, which yeah. which we all know. I mean, it's, it's, it's it might as well be man. pristine. Were they, but they, they, were they doing the pristine labels at that point? They were. Okay, yeah. so they just, yeah. they were being really, really Well, there's one on auction, what is it, PWCC right now, that's starting at 1500 It ended mm. last night. I don't know what it sold for. I have to look it up. But I'll post. That's, I'll yeah, post that's it. close. Some that's more close. Down I mean that's crazy, but but those are so. What talk about some of the other cards in your collection? So when you collected, I mean, you know, what when you went to the shed, what did you unearth? Um, Besides the garbage pail kits. Well, I unearthed some uh, Aaron Rodgers rookie oh. that I sold raw <laughs> for like fifty bucks, but uh, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. And then uh, I mean, I just name an NBA player from the nineties. Or, or an NFL quarterback. You and you, so, so you actually had a great collection. Oh man, yeah, because yeah. every time I'd go to Target or wherever, I would walk in with my mom as a kid and I would grab eight packs, mm -hmm. six packs, whatever. And uh, they didn't limit you then? No. Well, and they were always there. <laughs> exactly. They were always there. And now, I, you know, I went there once um, many months ago and we are all lined up and then they opened and everyone just ran towards the back and I was like, I don't want to do oh. this. Yeah. I don't want. To, I don't want to fight with a 19-year-old. I'll hurt my back. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want to do that. Yeah, and that's that's part of the game. That's not even the game. Part of the hobby right now that's frustrating is I know everybody. I, it, again, if you saw last Friday, uh, we were talking about on our drive back. Um, yeah. It, it's there's parts of the hobby that are getting very. I don't want to say sketchy because I understand it, but it's like with the limit of one, it's making people do things. That they wouldn't normally do. It's like apocalypse, and, dude. Yeah, it's yeah. Gonna, it was gonna be Mad Max of yeah. sports cards. Well, that second Target we went to was an odd feeling. I don't want to ever yeah. do that again. The first Target was very cordial, and respectful, yeah. and you know they lined you up and they said, "All right, you three go." And then as you're walking away, you heard him on his walkie saying, "He has a Notre Dame head on or whatever." Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, this, these guys are pros. You know, they they knew exactly how to yeah. do it. And yeah, it, it's it's frustrating because it's Target's done a good job with it. Then you have a place like Walmart, which is still. Can you get them at Walmart? I think. I went to the Burbank one once. They said they do not oh, sell. Burbank anymore. doesn't sell anymore. That's, but okay. no, but but that's the whole thing is Walmart is so sketchy because you have some stores that do the limits. Yeah. Some that it's a complete free for all, and the other ones where the employees are buying everything. Oh, Gary Payton rookie too. Yeah. You had a Gary Payton rookie? I sent it in the song. Yeah. Oh, this is not, it's not back yet. It's not back yet. It looks like a nine. <laughs> It could be a ten, but yeah, I mean that's the whole thing. Is I mean, Derek just, Coleman, just yeah, you know, well, that's not worth anything. That's anyway. worth it. It's, my heart. It, it's worth a quarter. My heart even worth something. Was that the Nets? The Nets? Yeah, Derek Coleman. Yeah, because yeah. he played for a few other teams after that. I yeah, think. he only played for four or five years, yeah. I think. So what? Okay, so obviously, I mean, we talk about this, and it's funny because you know everybody's got a stereotype. You look at Scott, you'd say, ah, he's a football guy. He is a football guy, but he loves basketball. I played basketball. So talk to me about basketball. What is it about basketball? That really just that makes you that love that you makes you love this. Well, first of all, my parents in 1982 went to the NCAA tournament where MJ mm -hmm. hit the shot for Carolina, and they brought back some gear from that event, mm -hmm. Georgetown, right? No, 82. 82. Yeah. Uh, that was yeah. That was a Hoy. Uh, no, that was uh, not Vanderbilt, but um. No, when he when he hit it over, uh, that was Patrick. No, was that Patrick Ewing? Mm -hmm. Patrick Ewing was at Georgetown at the time, but no, it was Villanova who won that against Georgetown. They were the sleeping giants. No, but the, the, when the Jordan won in 82. 83. 83. Yeah. 83. 83. Yeah, it was right after. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Um, no, no, he didn't win. I thought they won in '82. Okay, I'll, I'll put below what actually happened, but I know for a fact that they did go. But I, I think Vander, uh, Villanova actually won that because that was a big deal because Georgetown was supposed to win it all. Right. So, well, that wasn't that '87. No, I wish I had my no. phone on me. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. I'll put below. Maybe it was '85. Yeah. Either way, '82. They went to. Yeah, but that was sophomore year though. MJ sophomore year. Yeah, when they won, his, and then he, he left. left. Junior. Okay, year. that's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. Um, What'd you ask me? <laughs> what made you get basketball? Oh, so what made you? What made so you? I became a Jordan fan, and then uh, the Olympics when Bob Knight coached that team. Um, watched that, watched him, 
drafted by the Bulls, and I was literally an hour and a half away from Chicago. We'd go to some of the Bulls games as a kid, pre-title, Cubs games too. Um, and then that was that. I fell in love with Michael Jordan. Yeah. I just, I know that sounds like, oh, but it's just, but it's the way it is. I mean, he kind of just launched everything. It makes Nike, sense though. Um, the way you carry yourself. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's just a, he was just like, kind of a role model before you know what role models really were. And it's funny because like when you, I mean, I'm assuming most of you probably watched Last Dance. The one thing with The Last what Dance, is that? it's a documentary about this basketball player. Um, his name is uh, Mike Jordan. It's his, it's his twin brother. Cool. Who, who, who plays for the Chicago Blackhawks. He's cool. a hockey, it's a hockey documentary. <laughs> Damn. Um, and it's actually about polka dancing. I love it. Yeah, it's the last dance. Literally, it's the last dance. Nobody yeah, will do it again. No one will do polka it again. dancing. Yeah. 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 Square dancing is next in line. That's Trust me. Coming up. Get some square do -do. dancing cards. Get yes. that guy. Uh, get, get a get, get a uh, get a jig used floor mat. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what were you saying? Uh, last yeah, dance. No, but it makes sense though because like when you, especially when you grow up that era, um, it's like you feel like he's your guy. Yeah. And he's in your own in that yeah. city, not in that city, but in that. In that area in general, you lived, yeah. you lived in the Midwest. And, and because the thing is also, it's like there, there wasn't the internet. Mm -hmm. you, you, the channels you got to see, we had WGN. So mm -hmm. we got to see all Chicago, Cubs, Bears, Bulls, and they were just terrible for a while. And then they got this guy. Yeah. I mean, it's the and they were still thing. terrible for a year or two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but he was electric. And then I'm sure it's the same thing with Boston. Oh, mm -hmm. they got Larry Bird, you know, Indiana yeah. State, and you know, and uh, they just didn't have cell phones and you couldn't just look shit up and yeah. no, you become couldn't. a worldly fan. Yeah, you know? now now the way, I mean, everybody's got League Pass, everybody's got yeah. Sunday Ticket, whatever. You could be a fan living in Maine and sure. be a fan of the Seahawks. Right. And it, it, it's great, but yeah, I mean, it's like you yeah. were subjugated to Hometown. the area. And honestly, growing up, like for me in Portland, I grew up a Clyde Drexler fan. I love Clyde. And I grew up a Blazer fan. And you yeah. look at that and those, Clyde Drexler, was a great player, but he was nestled in Portland. Yeah. Michael Jordan being able to showcase what he could do, because Chicago's a great city, a big city, yeah. and being able to really... And at the time, they had yeah. Walter, I mean, Walter Payton was oh, huge. they got Sweetness, McMahon. yeah. McMahon, I mean, that the, the whole Bears, you know, sh Super Bowl shuffle, mm -hmm. it's like, that was like... That's true, because that Chicago was outside of, I mean, yeah. the Cubs, Cubs always drew Cubs, in the White Sox. Course. They yeah. sucked, but they had a huge fan following. Yeah. Because the Cubs were in 84, it was still around that time era. They were they were they played ready. against the Padres to go into the, uh, yeah, the World Cubs, Series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, you're looking at Chicago in that '83, '84, '85 yeah. time was an electric. I remember city. in '80, uh, what I think it was '84. Mm -hmm. I remember our teachers would put it on the games because then there was only they were a few all other games. Time. Then then '03. Mm -hmm. Alu, Alu, right? Yeah. Mo is it Moises Alu? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and there's one other. In and, 2016. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the Bartman. 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 Yeah. yeah. So, okay, so let's, uh, let's uh, you know what? We talked about some basketball. We'll talk more about some other stuff. But right now, we're going to rip open some Donruss. Boom. All right. You ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. It is a blaster box, 88 cards in here. We have 11 packs of eight cards. That's Steph Curry. He's our boy in the card. We're going to get an autograph or a mem card. I prefer an autograph. I don't know about you, Scott. Of course, an autograph. Yeah, I mean, yes. and hopefully it's somebody good. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's, uh, hopefully yes. it's a draft pick. Hopefully it's, you know, we can hope for ball. That'd be fantastic. Weissman, Tyler, uh, Tyrese Halliburton. Yes. I'll, I'll take any of those guys. Yeah. But let's open this. And then the problem is there's 11 packs in here. So Scott has not opened NBA hoops. So I'm nice. going to take six packs of honors. He is going to open up five packs and a single gravity feed pack of NBA hoops. We're going to rip this open. Are you ready to do this? But before, hold on. What should they do? Should they press the subscribe button? You know what, I would. Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah. And the like button. And Hit the notification it. bell. Hit all that stuff. And then follow me Get here. YouTubers. And I'll and I'll post a link to Scott's uh, you know, Scott's he's a fun, he's My a fun MDB. follow. <laughs> yes. My MDB. Yeah, if you're a casting director or an agent oh, yeah. and you're looking for a fine fellow with a mustache or a dude with a beard. Yeah. One of us. We can work in tandem. Or we can just work and just get paid for the job. But anyway, ripping packs. We're gonna rip open this blaster box. Are you ready? So Donner's blaster box, here we go. 88 cards, like I just mentioned, 11 packs, of eight cards, and this bad boy, which Scott has never opened before because he hasn't opened hoops because you know what? He hasn't been able to find any product on the floor. So you ready to do this, Scott? Let's yep. go. Ripping packs, blaster box, hoops packs already there in your corner. Three, two, one, let's rip some packs. Mm. Go. All right, 
I've opened it once before on the channel. I haven't done a Friends episode in a while, and I know Scott's a big basketball guy. Ooh, you want that? Thank you. You're welcome. Add it to the, the collection. Walk in the, what is this? Crystal it's a sensor, sensor tag, yeah. Okay. All right, so one for you, one for me, 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 and... One for you again, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I got this All right. Hold on, I feel if there is mem, if there's mem, I'll let you open it. You oh, here's mem that? right here. It's thick. You know? Trade you. Give me a pack. No way. Oh, I can it's, understand that. It's thick. It. Yeah, it's thick. Interesting. All right, we'll put it on the bottom. All right, you want to start with hoops real quick? Sure, or you? Man. All right, so leading off, oh, wait, we got hoops. Okay. Yeah, we'll go with hoops. All right. So, wait, ripping I'm ripping the Donners right here. He is ripping open the hoops. There you go. Pull back a little bit. There you go. Three, two, one, ripping pack. Three, two, one, ripping pack, Scott. All right. Mr. Pete, let's go. Here we go. And I try not to look at the back, so I just kind of... I kind of, yeah, I kind of yeah. just... All right, so... Okay. Wesley Matthews. You show them all? I show them all, but if you don't want to, it's fine. No, I don't want to. we have a lot of cards. Yeah, man, I don't want to... Oh, Bull. There Daniel we go. Gafford. Oh, we could do. We got a nice shiny card coming up. My eyes are crap, so you can see it. I cannot. Uh, Jamal Murray. Jamal Murray. I think he's injured. He's injured. Yeah. Yeah. Achilles? Yeah, he got... Jeez, we got a nice card coming up, though. All right. Kevin Love for the Cavaliers. He's not happy right now. No, nah, but he plays for the Cavaliers. <laughs> so, yeah. DeJounte Murray for the Spurs. Am I showing these good Yes, guys? there we go. Nice. A hollow Cole oh, Anthony that's arriving nice. now. That's a nice little card a right sweet there. Little card, brother. He's actually back. He's he's actually, I mean, what's funny about the rookie classes here, everybody made fun of how maybe it wasn't that good. It's actually pretty strong. Yeah, I think it's solid. It's a lot of good players. Great? Yeah. Daniel Choro uh, for the Clippers. Don't know anything about that guy. How are your and eyes? You've got really Cassius nice. Winston for the Wizards. I got okay eyes. I, I mean, can't see oh, four of them. names. Man. I, it's funny. Once we hit a certain age, right. uh, the eyesight starts going. My wife was like, hey, you want to wear these? I'm like, no. And then all of a sudden I try on. I'm like, what the f? <laughs> I can see everything. I do wear glasses when it rains and uh, when I'm driving at night. So, <laughs> okay. I know. It's important Gotta times get... to wear them when you're exactly. driving. All right, Donner's pack number one. Here we go. Eight cards per. I pulled, uh, I pulled the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, I pulled the uh, Lonzo Ball, not Lonzo, oh, everybody pulls Lonzo Ball. Uh, uh, LaMelo Ball, I pulled him and yeah. Wiseman and Halliburton last time, so I'm good to go. That's good. Hey, is, is that third kid gonna play, the other ball kid? Oh, he's playing in the G League somewhere. Yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. All right, we got Troy Brown Jr. of the Wizards. Nice. Yay. Awesome. Uh, Nemanja Belgica for the Smackerman, Smackerman Tote Kings. That's right. The Sacramento Sacramento Kings. Sacramento. Uh, sorry, I'm offending the Sacramento Kings fan base, all 10 of you. Uh, Thomas Bryant for the Wizards. So right now we got a Wizards hot pack. Goran Dragic for the Miami Heat. And something tells me Bogdan Bogdanovich is going to be next because that's the... Ah, wrong. Lou Williams. Now of the Atlanta Heat, not Atlanta Heat, Jesus, what? No, Atlanta, he's a hawk now? He's a hawk now. Atlanta Heat, you're a professional soccer team I just made up. Atlanta Heat. And then we have, okay, we have a, who is that? De'Aaron Fox. Okay, so it's a sack of potatoes box here. So far. Sack of potatoes for franchise features. CJ Ellaby, nice rookie card hit, PC hit for my Trail Blazers. He did okay this year so far, but the Blazers are hot. Yeah. And Nico Mannion. Uh, Carrot Top as a basketball player. Sweet for the top. Warriors. Didn't they win big last night? The, didn't they? Oh, they beat the crap out of. Uh, yeah, pull it up here. Some however you want, dude. However you want, man. However you want, bro. All right, here we go. All right, let's see who we get. I like how you show the whole damn thing. It makes more sense. Okay, yeah. It's, it's a guy for the Spurs. Oh, is that Lonnie Walker? I yeah, Lonnie it. Walker the fourth. Nice. Okay, Jeez. Lonnie Walker the fourth, and then uh, Joe Ingles. No relation to Mary Ingles Wilder from Little House on the Little Prairie. Little House on the Prairie, good one. Okay, and then we have Jeff, Jeff Teague. Teague for the Atlanta Falcons, not the Atlanta Heat. There we go. Uh, Ricky Rubio. Uh, Rubio. Ricky Rubio. Rubio, former Minnesota Timberwolves. I remember when he came in. He was actually a hot player well, early the Olympics. He was. Yeah. Solid. What was that? 2008. Some guy for the Magic. Yeah. Is that Mo, uh, Mo Bamba? No, it's not Mo Bamba, is it? I can't read it, brother. It is Terrence, 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 Terrence Ross. Terrence Ross. Franchise features oh. of Jason Tatum. Poor guy. Oh, yeah, no, Jalen Brown is the one. Oh, Jalen Brown. Yeah, Jalen Brown. He just, yeah. See, this is what happens when you don't have cable TV. Rookies. Odubabuka Azabuke. 
I said it right. I, I hope maybe I did. I like this guy. Oh yeah. Denny Avidia. Uh, Avidia. Yeah. Um, he's definitely got the the Luca vibe. Israeli player, national player. Yeah. Uh, young guy. Are you doing something with these? I just do. I just break them up into rookies and okay. insert and then base. All right. So. Right. Or you can do however you want because it's your pile. pile. My pile, man. Pack number three of the Donner's Blaster Box. We're ripping some gold here. <laughs> Prospecting for some prospects. All right, Harry Giles the third, no relation to uh, Harry Styles. My daughters love that guy. No, oh, he's, a, he's a looker, I'll tell you. He that. is a looker. Alfred Payton for the Knicks, who are a hot team. The Knicks have done a great job coming back into 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 life. Yeah, they're sitting fourth or fifth now. Yeah, which is just I mean just five hundred for them is Dude, great. It's insane. Dwayne Bacon for the Hornets. Uh, yeah, no. Thon Maker. I always think of the thong 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 with that guy Thon Maker. Then we have uh, Langston Galloway. Sounds like a tennis player in Beverly Hills. But he plays Langston for the Pistons. Galloway. Hello there, I'm Langston Galloway, and I will be oh. Service, please. Langston Galloway. Then Great Expectations, Isaac Okoro for the Cavaliers. Uh, was he USC? Oh, he was Auburn. He was Auburn. Then we have, uh, who is this? Xavier Tillman for the Grizzlies, the Memphis Grizzlies. You'll never see Grizzlies in Memphis because they only play basketball. They're actually from Vancouver. I don't know a fact, but I'm sure you yeah, how long have they been there? Six years? Still, like 12 years now at least. Yeah, I can't remember. 20 years. Desmond Bain, also for Bain. the Grizzlies. I think this is going to be something. Well, I mean, Memphis has got a good young Bain team. Bain is solid. He needs more minutes. All right, pack number four. Number four. Oh, Don Ross. Basketball. Don Ross. All right, Don Ross. All right, buddy. All right, we got ourselves D'Angelo Russell for the T-Wolves. The great former Laker, former, um, he was on another team. Who's on another team? Who is it? I see I, it. I can't see from this angle. Is that? I, it's a Magic. It's, it's Mo Bamba. Oh, good. Is it? Is, yeah. Oh, it is Mo Bamba. There you go. Every every guy who plays for Magic is Mo Bamba to me. Yeah. And oh, did you work with him by chance? It was a green screen. Are you kidding me? So he wasn't there. So you didn't even work with Anthony Davis in the Ruffles commercial. I tell people I met him. Though. Well, I mean, dude, you can you can always say that. Like, like, I'm just gonna call you a liar. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, liar. This guy, Scott Terry, Malik Beasley. Malik Beasley. Scott Terry. No. Scott Terry. Sounds like a coach. Yeah. Uh, Jamal, Jamal Murray. Murray. Okay, we got him. Third year. Uh, fourth year. Third, fourth year, whatever. I mean, Utah is just solid. I'm, they're they're a shocker. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, and then we have uh, John Collins, who it looks like he's going to be a big deal in the free agency market next year, because he's a he's a big body and he knows how to play basketball. So kudos to him. Oh, nice. Ooh, nice. Love those. An orange laser, Miles Turner. Those are nice cards. I, I gotta love these say. Cards. Yeah, the Miles Orange. I pulled a bunch of good a bunch of good bets last time. Uh, Kenyon, Kenyon Martin. Martin Jr. Yeah. Wonder what his dad did. Hmm. hmm. I don't know. Hmm. He must have been a rugby player. Probably so. Yeah. Hey, Elijah Hughes like, for the Jets. I thought it was someone else because I have no eyes. I was like, hey. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, is this? Oh, wait. Oh, no. He plays for a basketball team. All right. Pack number five, I believe. Five. Five of Donner's Basketball Blaster Box. You ready for some good rookies? You're going to get them, brother. Well, I mean, come on. I mean, they're, they're, they're in here. Thing. All right. We've got ourselves Brandon Clark. Okay, so we got a Grizzlies hot box right now. You know, mm -hmm. we'll pull a jaw here pretty soon. Uh, Tristan Thompson for the Cavaliers. I want to say he's with the uh, Celtics now, isn't he? Yeah, I want to say. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm just making crap up, but he does play for the Celtics, I think. How much basketball do you watch? Not enough. Yeah, Ma I, don't, I don't watch a lot anymore like I used to. I, that's the reason why, I mean, I really like basketball, but basketball is the one sport for me where I, baseball dominates me, yeah. football dominates me. Foot, my, mine would so. be football. Yeah. Absolutely. And then yeah. basketball takes a back seat to those. And I it do used to be the other way around. Life, I to, yeah. yeah. I used to basketball first, but now it's football. Well, and I think part of it is the fact is just such a commitment. Like for me, baseball, you're oh, watching yeah. 162 it's games. Basketball, games. you're watching normally, norm, in a normal season, 81 games. Sure. 
Football's like, okay, I can watch on a Thursday games, night or a Sunday right? night or a Monday, and you can watch one or two games and you're caught yeah, up. You're, yeah, because they constantly talk about yeah. who's in the running. Yeah, they're always. We're basketball, it's the only thing you know about is like with us living in LA. Sure. I'm not a Laker fan, but we're always yeah. being told how good or bad the Lakers are. Yep. And it's even if the Dodgers are in the World Series, we're being told how good or bad the That's Lakers so true, are. Buddy. We'll see what the Clippers do this year. I think they're they're better in my opinion, but yeah, Lakers are Lakers are playing the slow game. Whereas yeah. and they'll make the playoffs yeah. and then they'll dominate. Yeah. Which, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Montrez Harrell, who is speaking of the Clip Lakers, is now a Laker, formerly a Clipper. He just moved locker rooms to the other side of the state center. Wow. Then we have ourselves Otto Porter. I think he was traded um, to the Magic. I could be wrong. I don't know. Otto Porter Jr., basketball player. Robert Covington for the Houston Rockets. Then we have a power in the paint. Andre Drummond. Good job, buddy. Um, What's funny is I actually shot high school footage of him uh, when he played in an Adidas Nationals tournament. Um, you could tell he was really good because he played yeah. like one year at UConn and he barely played. Um, then he played in the NBA. And it's funny because he's now on the Lakers, but he's been like, I think he's been like five different teams now. Because yeah. he just keeps, he's a good player, but he's just kind of turned into a role guy. Hey, he's making a living. He is. Killian Hayes, a rookie who I was high on. And you know what? He's 19 years old. I could still be high on the guy. Yeah. And he's, he's, he's good. He's just, he's a, a, a team like the Pistons, you can develop. Yeah, absolutely. You never know. Then Patrick Williams, who I actually don't know how he's doing now, but he started the season really hot. Um, he was kind of, shouldn't have been picked fourth overall because of just in general, it was like they, a lot of teams felt that he would fall into later round, later yeah. uh, later after the lottery, but Bulls picked him anyway, so. Yeah. All right, what do we got? Pack number six. Is it six? I think so. Yeah, we still got three packs left. Ripping packs. Let's go. All right. All right, eyes. All right. Okay, my you. eyes deceive me. It's Rudy Gobert, the uh, all-defensive team center for the Utah Jazz. They win games because of him. Eric Bledsoe, who is, I want to say, on the Rockets now? Maybe? He's, he's, a, he's a point scorer. Oh, I know. That's good. Drew Bledsoe. Oh, Donovan Mitchell, who another, another great Jazz. Who I think he, he missed a little bit of time yeah. with an injury, but yeah. Is he back? Um, yeah, I think so. Fred Van Fleet, there's a great story. A guy who him. just pretty much nobody gave him a chance, no. and then he said, Dominated. screw you, I'm gonna show you how good I am. Yeah. Eric Paschal, Pascal for Pascal. the Warriors. Good old Pascal the Rascal. And oh, you got yeah. another, nice. Ooh, is that Edwards? No, it's Wiseman. Uh, Wiseman. James nice. Wiseman with the goal with the orange laser. That's sweet. Dude, you're doing good. You're doing good on your pass so far. Oh, That's a great right. car. That's a hit right there. Isaiah Stewart for the uh, for the Pistons, former Blazer for five minutes. So, uh, and then we got Devin Vassell for the Hot Spurs. Right? The Hot Spurs. Yeah. The Hot Spurs. The Hot Spurs. They again. play in West Hollywood. The Hot Spurs. The Hot Spurs. All right. Okay, I've lost track of count, so this know. is pack number something. All right, this is the one. This, this is the one. Count. We lost count. This is the one. This is the one. I bet you there's a ball in there. The or yeah, there's probably Alonzo. There's a there's Alonzo ball. Oh, we do. I got an orange laser finally. Here we go. Chris Middleton for the Bucks. He the uh, role player who's doing pretty good. Yeah, he's actually I I, I actually, like him, man. Yeah, he's actually pretty solid. I didn't yeah. know how good he was actually. Malcolm Brogdon for the Pacers of Indianapolis. Plays basketball out there in uh, in the Corn Belt State. I don't know. I make crap up there. I'm from Indiana. You Aaron, think I'd be a Pacer fan. But yeah. I was. Well, the Jordan. Bulls were a good team. Yeah. Too. Well, but the then Pacers were good. And Miller Reggie came. Miller. I couldn't stand UCLA. Blah blah blah. But I love Reggie Miller now. Aaron Gordon. Then for the Magic, but I want to say now he plays for Denver. He plays in the Mile High City. Okay. He got, just got traded uh, to trade the line, and Kevin Horter for the. I want to. I want to say the Falcons. The Falcons. But it's the Hawks. Atlanta <laughs> Falcons. Uh, both nice quarterback. Those damn birds in Atlanta. It's a quarterback. Yeah, then Seiko Diambo for the Motor City, otherwise known as Detroit. We have our orange. I got an orange laser. Yes. Julius Randall, who <laughs> he's having a great year. Great year. Julius Randall, who you've seen the channel before. You saw. I actually shot footage of him in high school. Uh, he played at a Texas Christian school. Wow. And Jesus. him and a seven-footer were on the team. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, Jesus. He, Jesus was on Jesus. the team, too. He was actually the point guard. They called him Jesus, though. He, well, he, he was. He did have a beard and long hair. So, yeah. But, no, Julius Randall, surprisingly, he's had a great year. Um, and it's nice to see resurgence. Because this guy was a great ball player. He just couldn't play here in L.A. And then New Orleans kind of said, eh, we got other guys coming, like Zion. I've heard of him. 
Julius Randle. Obi Toppin, speaking of the Knicks, the Knickerbockers, no be stopping, no be topping. Um, that's just a phrase I've heard a few times. Some people seem to say it, so I, like it. I replicate it. And I saw what's on the back. I saw that. Anthony Edwards, who is still possibly in the rank for Rookie of the Year. I know uh, LaMelo's coming back, but yeah. that's a nice hit. Anthony Edwards, and he's got a, have you seen like interviews with him? No, I haven't. He's not. kind of a nut job in, a, like good, in a good way. He's kind of a little He's kind of a little loose. A little Marshawn Lynch in him? Yeah, 100% Marshawn Lynch. If, yeah, if this guy played uh, MF, if this guy played in the NFL, he'd be Marshawn Lynch. That's cool. Not, not physique or body wise, but I yeah. That. All he's right. kind of a nutty guy. Number something in one. Oh, and then we got our we got our uh, oh yeah mem card coming up. See you, you just know the feel of these packs. Well, I've felt a few of them before. Yeah. Felt a few. I've, I've felt a few. Before. All right, here we go. High school, I used to feel a few. Yeah, me too. All so. right, all right. Danny Green for the Danny. Lakers, but I want to say he's playing for Toronto now. The savior for uh, the Spurs. That's oh yeah, back in the day. All right. Yeah. All right. Read it. Uh, we got Kyle, Kyle Lowry for the Raptors, who play in Tampa right now because of COVID. The Tampa Raptors. Brandon Ingram, who had a nice resurgence after the Lakers traded him for uh, Anthony Davis. I know way too much about basketball, and I actually don't. That's great. Him. I love it. Markel Fultz for the Magic, who is uh, he was actually. I know he missed a little bit of this year, but he's it's a he's a good fit there. CJ McCollum, PC hit for me, thank God. Yeah. I actually not pulled any CJs. Uh, uh, CJ McCollum, oh, I sash right here somewhere. Oh, oh, and then a Laker, uh, yay, <laughs> Alex Caruso. So Laker fanboys, line up, as my wife says. Hold on, show that card again real quick. Um, as my wife says, when you look at that, it's like I have a dick. That is the pose. That's funny. Alex Caruso with the orange. Your wife said that. She yeah. Came up with that. That's yeah. Funny. My wife came up funny. funny. I love it's it. Kind of, she watched yeah. sports highlights with me, and then she'd see the guys out there. They dunk or they make a, you know, at the in the, you know, in the paint. That's funny. Man. Emmanuel quickly. Great New York. The Knicks have got a good young team. Yeah. Thank God. I, I don't care for the Knicks, but it's nice to see. It's nice a to see good it again, team. man. It's really nice to see that again. Zeke Nanaji for the Denver Nuggets. No, that's good. No, it's good. It's good for teams like the Knicks in Boston. You want to see teams, even if you don't like them, yeah. you want to see them be good because it helps all the, it helps yeah. the NBA. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You need teams, especially in a place like New York, for yeah. God's sakes. Pack uh, something. Something. See. Something. We got. I got two packs left though. Scott's got one. Here we go. Ripping packs. We have got Al Horford for the 76 or Something tells me he's not there anymore, but I don't care. Jay Crowder for the Heat, the Miami Heat. I am giving him the appropriate city this time. Then Chris Sapp, Kit Sapp Porzingis, who, former Nick, who ended up having a good year with the Mavericks, and then he just hasn't played. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's hurt, right? Yeah, he's been hurt on and off, but yeah. it's just like, you think with him and Luca, you think that that yeah. white boy connection there would work, but I guess yeah, not. right. Then we have ourselves, Hassan Whiteside, PC hit, but he's not playing for the Blazers anymore. Sorry. Actually, we're, just, we're much, we're better off without him. <laughs> then Marvin Bagley, the third for the Sacramento Kings. Nothing to add there. The great expectations, Jalen Smith, no Blaster Box Nars is incomplete without a Jalen Smith. Rambus goggles. Huh? Yeah, he looks like Kumo D meets Kurt Rambus. Yes, yeah. Kumo D. Rookie, he's not a rookie hit, but yeah, you got a rookie pile. Find a pile. Whatever. Uh, Okinya Okongo for the Hawks of Atlanta, former USC Trojan. I know that. He was a lottery pick. I want to say somewhere in like six, seventh. And Grant Riller, not the uh, Charlotte Hornet you want. Grant Riller, the driller. The thriller. The thriller. Ho, ho, ho. Get a ziller. Ziller. With your killer. Get some Miller. All right. Last pack of Donners for Scott. All right. All right. What are we going to get here? I don't know. We're going to get something good. We're going to get something good. We're going to get. We're going to basketball cards. All right. All right. Carter Jr. What? Uh, you can read that now? I just saw it. What? I just saw it. Wendell Carter Jr. And we have uh, Jared Allen. Allen. He's good. He's actually, he got traded, yeah, but he's, he's good. good. You want me to show the men last? Or oh, show the men last if you want. All right. Or well, it doesn't matter because I have the last pack. So. All right, that's true. Um, Le LeBron um, Jones. Hames? Hames? LeBron Jones. Le uh, he, he might make it in the league one day. I don't think so. I, he's got talent. I'll put it that way. He might. 
Uh, and we've got uh, Blake, Blake uh, Griff Griffon. Griffon plays for now the uh, Brooklyn uh, Brooklyn Nets, formerly Brooklyn the New Nets. Jersey Nets. And then, we've and then got, we uh, have a mem. That's too late. Mem. Ooh, of killer. Lori McConian with Look out the for this guy. with the napkin. Look out for this guy. Oh man, I am I am your uh, MVP of a league. A of the G League. <laughs> Uh, complete players with Rudy Gobert. So, um, wow, this pack is blue donkey. Bam. Oh, wow. And it, it, it Robert Woodward, the third or the ninth uh, for the Sacramento Kings. And, and Vernon Carey for the Hornets. Man, I am so sorry I just gave you that pack, man. That I is, don't care, dude. This is fun just to hang that's out. That's a horrible pack. That's probably the worst pack you could get with the inserts. And yeah, uh, Laurie Markanian, come on, guys. Seriously, that, you're, <laughs> you're, are you just going to go ahead and pull off anybody from the bench? Like, hey, you, you, want, a, you, want, a, you want a jersey? You want a relic card? Okay, come on over here, guys. Why did I do that? They, they, they cut it out. Obviously. Well, it's funny because you look at look can, at the. Can uh, we rip this one open? Look at the back. I mean, can we it, it actually says, rip this card open? This includes game use. It, oh, it's, it's game use can guaranteed. Can I rip this open? <laughs> can I like make your? You know what? Let's do packs? it. Let's do it. Let's rip it open. Here, God. right here, right here. God damn it! All right, need some skizzers. Here, here. Right, let's see what the hell. This is. Okay, wow, Lori Markkinen is not gonna get right. me. All right, there let's we go. Let's see the jersey. You, you talk about it, buddy. All right, so this is a piece of a Bulls jersey, inevitably. It's got little sticky tape on the back. Yeah, it's got, so this is what it looks like. It's um, there. It is, I would say it's like a dry fit. It is, it is it's probably a it's jersey. It's from the jersey, and it's got a little sticker thing. But Does it say his name on it? It's the sticker that holds it in there. It doesn't say a name or anything. Oh, the sticker was might I be watching, behind was, this. Was it another channel I was watching where they had some actual you're, blood from uh, Ewing's jersey? You're like, watching other people's channels, dude? Yeah. What the hell? What I was thinking about that is you could clone Patrick Ewing. Oh, you could. And yeah, Lori, some of these. Lori Marcaney, if you see right there, you can actually see right. that says. So yeah, so they probably bought a jersey and went ahead and just so ripping packs to ripping ripping cards. ripping shirts, ripping, ripping jerseys, cards. ripping cards. All right. So. I mean, honestly, if it was anybody else, I probably would have said, "Don't do that, dude." What? Well, watch this but, guy. Oh, he'll have a <laughs> career of a lifetime. Yeah, he's, and we'll ha at least have a memory. We'll have a he memory. Scores 111 points, outdoes Wilt by one. If anybody wants this Lori Markanian card, um. It's yours. It's yours. I doubt you want it. It's. I I, I'll curious. throw it in a top loader. I'll I was curious. Loader. That's and all. honestly, this is a card you you're totally because this is it's worth maybe fifty cents, maybe worth a buck, if that. No, it's maybe not. Bulls fans. So this is the card to do the test on. So we did so it. We, we did, did a it. test. And I just wasn't sure if it was going to be like tissue ninety degree paper. angles. It's they cut it out nicely. Yeah. It's a square. See, to me, that's the thing that sucks with these things. Is you want, like, if I'm going to get a jersey relic of any of this type of crap, I want it to be the sleeve. Yeah, I want it to be somewhere around here. Or the, I know the number one of ones is the logo, man, sure. and things like that. I get that. But with things like this, I want to see a little bit. Because, I mean, dude, it looks like it's toilet paper. I'll put it over here. Yeah, if anybody wants it, it's nobody there. Wants it, buddy. Nobody wants it. Are you ready for uh, the last pack? Pack number 11. I know math. Pack number 11. Donner's basketball. Let's go. I used to cut open golf balls as a kid. I did baseballs. And squirrels. <laughs> and salamanders. Dude, chipmunks. Come on. Oh, I got an orange laser. Devin Booker for the Phoenix Suns. That's a hit, but I don't have a hit pile going. Zach Levine, uh, your buddy Lori just got his jersey shredded thanks to Scott and Craig. John Wall, who is now playing for the Rockets, and he's not even playing anymore because he's injured and Rockets suck. <laughs> Sum it up. And there is the Joker, Nikola Jokic. Jokic. I honestly couldn't care less about the guy, but he's a great ball player. He's a good baller. And you just look at him, he looks like a, just a big dumb Ukrainian. Uh, I play basketball good. <laughs> that's, how I, that's how I think he talks. That's, he does yeah. talk like that. See, good there job. we go. Good job. Thank you. I, I thought you were him. <laughs> For a minute, for like, a minute, I, it's like I, I, I don't see well this eye, so I was like, I thought I was sitting next to Jokic. Yeah, he was. Jokic, he was acting, Damn right. acting. Davis Bertrands for the Washington Wizards. Another guy who looks sounds like he would belong at a Beverly Hills tennis club. Our orange laser, Mike Conley. Uh, solid point guard, but yeah. that Wiseman uh, orange laser was awesome. That's a good one. Right? That's a yeah. good one. Yeah. 
Should we rip it open? Uh, no. Sadiq Bay for the Pistons. <laughs> Let's cut some stuff off. Cut it open. Sadiq Bay for the Pistons, uh, one of the Bay Boys. And then the last card is Aaron Nesmith. So realistically, our hits were James Wiseman Orange and the Anthony Edwards. Yeah, um, yeah, they're both in this pile. They're both in that pile. Yeah, yeah. well, the Anthony Edwards is in mine. Was it? That's right. That's right. Mine, yeah, but we do have the fond memory of ripping open. Ripping. Uh, ripping that a was our card. Yes, that was our first card rip together. That was together. That was that was, that was nice romantic. That was yeah. Let yeah. me remember this day. Me too. My Fridays with Scott from now on. That's what they should be called. From Fridays now on. with Scott. <laughs> if you're not Fridays. Scott, you're not sitting to my right. Fridays with Scott. <laughs> it sounds like a really bad SNL. Like. Uh, Deep thoughts. Sounds really good because SNL skits dark. They're not Fridays funny with Scott. Fridays with Scott. Mm. Speaking of Fridays with Scott, um, so I, if you, again, if I mentioned earlier, if you saw last Friday, uh, he joined me in line uh, at Target, Target to try to get packs of cards. What time are you going to get there this Friday? Because I, I got there around six twenty, and I was twenty third, twenty fourth. Yeah. I'm probably gonna go just, I just before six, probably yeah, about 5.45, okay. yeah. They didn't go. So, what are some of the cards you like right now? Like, I, I know basketball and football are your sports. I mean, what, what you, yeah. right now? Yeah, what are you, what are you digging on? Well, okay, um, obviously Luca's rookie cards. Is that yeah. now enough? That's now. Okay, yeah, so that's pretty pretty recent. I bought the PSA 10 Optic 177 uh, a couple months ago. Then I've got the red, white, and blue mm -hmm. 2018 280. Uh, I like some Zions. I uh, got some Lamellos. I don't have his uh, one that everyone's searching for. That's mm -hmm. in, there. in there. We might get one. Yeah, uh, Herbert Burrow. I uh, just bought a PSA 8 autograph. Oh yeah, I saw uh, that one. Yeah. 20 of 25 jersey. Yeah, well, when, when I mean it's it's cool if he has a if he wins a Super Bowl or gets two, that's that's a twenty five hundred dollar card when he's me, still playing. To me, the grading of a card like that, and I'm guilty of it with my Griffey, the grading of a card like that, you're getting it graded more to encase it. It's encased. It's an eight. Yeah. Okay, that's near mint mint. Yeah. So to me, and it's very it's a rare card. They yeah. made twenty five. And it's got his jersey. It's an RPA. It's got his jersey. It's a relic. It's numbered. It's an awesome looking card. So yeah. to and me, and you can anytime I want, I can take it out and rip it open. That's true. So if you jersey. really like, let's say he throws like four. We got him on your fantasy team. Through four, throws four picks in the game. You're like Joe, 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 Joe. Done with you. I'm done with you. We're gonna rip this open right now. Joe, you ready? Let's do this. Uh, oh, okay. Touchdown. Touchdown. Good, Good job. Good job. Yes. Who, um, who's your favorite player when you grew up? Obviously, Jordan well, for basketball. Walter Payton. Sweetness, okay. Yeah. Um, anyone on the Bears, McMahon, Willie Galt. I love Willie Galt. He was, he was fast. Uh, you, you're a 49ers, I so know. I I did not get, I loved that Montana and, you know, Dwight Howard great. and Jerry Rice. And yeah, that. Rice, but I was just like, Willie Galt's better than Jerry Rice. <laughs> Willie Galt was good. I mean, he was good but for. You put him on a. Season, season, yeah. You put him on a different team. You put him on a team that actually threw the ball yeah. all the time. Yeah, because uh, yeah. McMahon was like an Aikman. Yeah, he totally that go was. off again. Yeah, I did, but it's fine. Right. We're not doing anything. Right, cool. Um, yeah. So no, man, that that was it. Yeah. And I love uh, Barry Sanders. I wasn't a Lions fan, but he was no. just just north of us. And uh, big Packers fan, I bet. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you're a Bears fan. You're not a Packers. Yeah, fan. no. Yeah. It's funny because my I, I had more heart in the game as a kid. Mm -hmm. I think you, as an adult, you start to be dwindled down and start to chill out a little bit. Yeah. But I'm still a sports fan. But I'm like, don't tell that to Doyer fans, by the way. Doyer fans are right. They're all. If hard my team still. loses, I'm like. Eh. I saw. Yeah. I mean, yeah, whatever. I man. saw how they lost. I understand yeah. how they lost. I used yeah. to get pissed and punch a hole in the wall, but yeah. now I'm just like. To have another beer? Exactly. Like, just, whatever, man. It's just a freaking sport. Exactly. Just you know, enjoy the sport. Enjoy, enjoy the sport. Enjoy the enjoy their play. Yeah. It's it's nice when you're able to go to a game and enjoy it, and nice when you're able to really go in and see the see the festivities, if you will, as you're yeah. older. Because yeah, you want to see your team win, but on the other side, it's like, look, I just want to be entertained. I want to have right. fun. I want to see some good play. Absolutely. Nothing's worse than when you see just slop like. Sloppy play or just lazy, you know you lazy play more than anything. You should make a game, put on the bottom every time Scott says absolutely. Absolutely. Well, for me, I that's think I stud. said it eight times. What for is me, it? Stud. 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 Oh, I this use, guy's a stud. I use stud loosely. Like I'll, I'll just call Scott a stud. Absolutely. But I mean, I'm not, that's not a lie. That's just that's, that's absolutely. That's pure fact. Absolutely. It's stud. Absolutely. 
Alright, what are we doing next? We're ripping Prism. Alright, let's do it. You ripping some Prism? Right, can we get a shit jersey? We're, well, we're, we're guaranteed one autograph or mem card. I want to rip up the auto. Guaranteed one autograph or mem card. Ripping right. autos. We have six packs of four cards. 24 cards, LeBron, not LeBron, why am I calling him LeBron? Zion's on the cover. <laughs> and we have 24 cards here. We are guaranteed an auto or a mem card, so yeah. hopefully we don't cut it open. Can I just say something? Yeah, what? It's awesome that Warner Brothers lets you use their lot, their, their studio to come and shoot your, no, I'm not gonna call yeah. it a little show, but it's. It's growing. It's cool yeah. that you're shooting this on the Warner Brothers line. It's, it's very nice of them. Um, we have a little deal, you know, they, they let me have a cameo in Space Jam. Um, they're like, oh, you do this little rip show. Okay, well, you're more than welcome to. You should see what's beyond the camera. I mean, it's a giant stage. This cameo is with. Um, cameo is with us. This guy. Laurie Macon. That's why, I, he didn't tell you, that's why I shredded because there was a little. Um, I heard about it. Little, I read um, it in the uh, Variety. <laughs> Daily Variety, back, yeah. On the, uh, the print to, version, not even the web version, the print sorry, version. Sorry to hear he did that to you. Well, you know, it's it's one of those that, that's kind of why I got the back. You of the, signed an NDA about yeah. it, you told me about it. Well, it's just because, you know, he was very rude and I told him not to and he just kept pursuing me. He's like, do you know who I am? If I ever get your, your rookie card for the jersey. I'm going to shred it. <laughs> I'm going to shred it. All right, but see, sorry. I didn't do it. I did I just, as an innocent bystander. Yeah. Lori, I'm sorry. I, please, I apologize for the studs misgivings. Absolutely. Ripping packs. Right. Blaster Box, Panini Prism 2021. Probably my favorite. Let's go. Prism and Selects. Prism and Selects. Yeah. The two things you can hopefully find at your target. Yeah. And if you're waiting in line at four in the morning. Oof. All right. And oh, 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 it's time for me to sing a song. Who do you collect? Is that, is that on all of them? On some of them, yeah. Okay, cool. It's, I just, it's that I love thing. it. It's, you gotta have fun. All right, we got. Oh, I got, we got Mem. I'll give you the Mem. All right. Two, one, two, so one, two. I got a Luca jersey in one of these mm -hmm. blasters. It, it's it's going for like 75 raw. But it's Luca. It's cool. It's a cool looking card. It's Luca. That's, that's a, uh, there you go. Pack, Pack number, number one. Eight. Four cards. All right. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't look it's at it. Close first. our eyes. Don't yeah, look at it. All right. Switch first off the bat, we got. Dante Vincenzo yeah. for the Milwaukee Brew Crew. Uh, that's Yo. the baseball team, but the Bucks. Yeah, and we then we have uh, Giannis Valcelonis, who sounds like he could be a uh, pharmaceutical drug guy <laughs> for the Grizzlies. I'm being very careful. And then we have, oh, a Team USA Dwayne Ooh, nice. Wade. That's like a nice that. card. I've actually never seen those before. Dwayne Wade, who will go down into the Hall of Fame when his career is. Awesome. And then uh, Bran, Bryn Flores, Bryn Forbes, Forbes. Forbes, for the Spurs. They're pretty so, good cards, good centering on they are. The Dwayne Wade's actually a nice card. Yeah, I don't know anything looking. about the USA cards. Yeah, Sarp, Sharp. I said Sarp. Sarp. New word. Sarp. It's new word. It's like Sharp and but it's Sharp. Better. It's easier but it's, to say. Yeah, Sarp. Get rid of the H. I sarp. hate H's. It's like Sup, Sarp. Sarp, yo. Okay. Pack number two of the Prism Blaster Box. Will we be graced with a rookie by chance? I hope so, because that's why I buy this crap. Odds are in our favor due to that run. Well, I don't know. We got that Edwards. We did. Or why? But this is what you wanted. Yeah. Yeah. Anthony Simmons for the Blazers. Do, 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 do. You're going to go into the hit pile, well, the PC pile. Karis Levert for the Brooklyn Nets. And I think he got traded too when they traded uh, um, that other guy. for some other dude. That other guy. Yeah. We have a green, a green. Not a rookie, it's uh, Marcus Morris for the Clippers. Brother of Markeith Morris, former Laker. Huh, well, didn't know that. And then Damari Carroll for the Houston Rockets. Um, yeah, so that uh, PC hits about the best thing so far in that. All right. All right, what do we get here, Scott? We're going to get something. Guarantee we're going to get we're some gonna basketball get players. I, yeah, I'm my guess. If we get football players in these packs, something's wrong. Basketball Panini. players. All right, we've got ourselves got, uh, Patty Mills, former Blazer, in the Australians, uh, Australia's finest product. Patty Mills. Lamarcus Aldridge, former Blazer, now a Spurs. So we got a little Spurs. little trend going here. Our next card is Dominance with Zion Williamson. Zion Williamson. Zion. He dom he's actually had a great year this year. And James Johnson for the is it the uh, the Timberwolves. You know what's funny? 
Atlanta. Cool. I was joking about rookies. We actually haven't pulled a rookie card yet. We have not pulled a rookie in the first three packs. Interesting. What the F, Panini? It's on the way. What the, the F? Way. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Home sweet home. With Panini Prism, we're opening. Opening. Pack number four. Hey, you don't think I'd pull a Tom Brady out here? I guarantee it. Let's go, Rick Packs. Wish we had a Tom Brady under the table. Pack number four. <laughs> Hey, uh, ah, Tom what Brady! Is this? The odds! One of one, Tom Brady! Let's go. Fast, fast. Robert Covington for the Houston Rockets. Another guy from the Beverly Hills Tennis Club. Robert Covington. Jay Crowder. I can read these. I can. I read can these yeah. Oh, you can. No, I can read oh. them. Now. What's funny? The, you know, the, the the font on the others was like silver and. Look, it's got the. This is during the uh, the bubble. Oh, the bubble, because you could see all the people in the background who are, oh. uh, they're not real. They're, uh, they're TV screens. Jay Crowder. We got a purple, hopefully it's a purple laser. It is not a rookie. But it is Emmanuel Moudier. Mm, this blaster box is blown donkey, man, so far. <laughs> Manuel Moudier. And then we did get a rookie, Teo Maladen. I like those cards. Teo Maladen. Maladen for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Come on. Okay, yeah. Mm. Good job. Yeah. Buddy. All right. This is the mem pack. This is the mem pack, and hopefully it's got a good one. Do you think people go to Target and take their scales? I do know back in the day they would. You can't really weigh anything nowadays because the product's not going to sit there long enough. All right, here we go. All right, we've got ourselves Capella. Clint Capella from the Acapella Group. Clint in the Capellas. A great singer. We got our mem card right here. Oh my God, we got a mem card. Here, pull it right here. We got a right. Robert Covington. Should we rip it? No. It's a nice card though, I will it say that. Nice it's a nice card, but of all, nah. Robert Covington. All right, that's right, sorry, buddy. Instant impact with Precious Achawa for the Miami Heat. And Tyler Hero for the Miami Heat. Heat hot pack there. Mm. Wow. Sorry, buddy. Oh. Well, are you ready? Yeah, I don't know. This is it. Pack number six. The excitement's in the air. I can feel it in the air go. tonight. Where'd oh, Lord. Go. Pack number six. My fault. Don't have me on your thing. Oh, God. I, I drove all the way to Warner Brothers for this, guys. Guys! And and he had to get COVID tested twice because we have a strict COVID testing policy here. Yeah, craft services was amazing. It, well, I mean, come on. I do. I can't believe you shoot this with 50 people. I know, seriously. The sound guy's in the back laughing right now. <laughs> he is. Because, you know, he's like, oh, why am I even getting paid? I have one mic pointing at them. Awesome. Yeah. Craft service is great. Wardrobe is phenomenal. But I will say the AD department are a bunch of dicks. Yeah. Yeah. They like I'm trying to, oh, let's keep this show. Let's keep it a tight ship here. Yeah. Pack number six. Ripping packs. Let's pull something good for God's sakes. Chris Milton. He's a good player. But he's not good <laughs> for my pack. We got a silver coming up. Yes. Shake Milton. That's, my That's a great name. Great name. Shake Milton. Our silver is not a rookie. It's Thomas Bryant. I should have picked the other one here. <laughs> you should have. <laughs> you held him up. Like, I gave him two options. Want? Two options of which blaster box to open. Um, this blaster box is not even worth $20. Thomas Bryant. This next card, silver. Though. This next card. Cassius Winston. Told you. Rookie card. So I pulled the rookies. All two. Two frigging rookies. Two. Wait a minute. Is there a. Oh, it's the NBA, NFL. The NFL guarantees six of the hottest rookies. Sounds like some really bad, uh, you know, 90s infomercial. Six of the hottest rookies on the world. So yeah, there you go. We went down with a thud, bro. What do we do now? Just make out or something? No. Um, for them, I think that's what they prefer to see now after watching us rip that turd of a box. Yeah. So we could do that or we could just close our show. Let's just close it. We'll Let's do just another close it, day. wrap it up. Yeah. We'll do another day. Hey, thanks for having me on, dude. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it. I appreciate you coming down. I actually appreciate it. I've actually me. been, I've been begging, not begging because that sounds pathetic, but when I started doing this channel, uh, I actually asked Scott once I kind of figured I want to do the Friday with Friends format. I was like, I'd love for you to be on the show. Yeah. And oh my wife, or oh my kids, or oh uh, my uh, herpes, or whatever. Everything, something would flare up always. Herpes. Well, I mean, that does flare up from time to time. It's so fun. 
Yeah. That's why I tell you to use that hemorrhoid cream. No. I like the whole... You like I that. like the ride of it. It's, it's a thrill. It really is. So... <laughs> Thank you for watching Friday with Friends on Ripping Packs with my bud, my good buddy, Scott Pete. Absolutely. Um, stud. Stud. Absolutely. <laughs> um, that subscribe button, you know what? Be a friend with it. Yeah. Click it. Share the link. Share Bruh. the link. Tell your, tell your boys. Sorry. Hashtag me well. Yeah. Hashtag Dumble Drop and Hashtag Bumble Board and all that. Pound. Thing. Oh. Stud. <laughs> and while you're pounding the stud button, you should pound the like uh, the, the like button. My joke was pound used to be pound, but now it's hashtag. Now it's hashtag, so you can do the pound. Or you could star some. One day in the near future, they're gonna be like, how do I get into the your number gate? sign? Oh. Uh, hashtag. Pound 986. What's pound? I don't know. Hashtag 986. Oh, number sign. <laughs> number sign. The subscribe button. Not the uh, the notification bell. You know, because why not? Yeah. And then follow me down here. Yeah. And I'll, like I said, I'll put Scott's links and all that stuff. You can follow him on there. Um, he prefers that you follow him on his Bumble profile. His wife doesn't. Only fans. Only fans. He's got a great Only fans account. It's called Taints Anonymous. Hands only. <laughs> if you're looking for a hand model or a taint model, Scott's, uh, Scott's currently uh, looking for work. So thank you again for watching Rippin' Packs on this um, momentous occasion, otherwise known as Friday with Friends. Um, and us ripping open some turds at the box, I will be honest with you. But anyway, that's it. Thank Thanks. you for watching. Thank you for Scott. Thanks, buddy. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you on Monday. Well, I will. Scott, he'll be watching through, you know, through binoculars and blinds. Yep. Have a good one. Fair window. <laughs>